Barra tells Annabelle's real haunted history. How the devil insidiously works. The devil will take a, an object like that, that's cute, that looks very benign, and have it cause havoc to people. And people find it hard to believe that that could really occur, but it can. And remember this, that a, good, that a human spirit, a human spirit now, is not going to inhabit that doll. Mm -mm. God would not allow a, a six-year-old child to inhabit that doll. And that's what the psychic told these girls, that a six-year-old child or seven-year-old named Annabelle, who got killed outside their apartment complex, was in the doll. That's not true. But they, they bought it, hook, like, and, hook, yeah, line, and sinker. They were treated the doll as a child. And after they were told that, <clears throat> they really started <clears throat> to give it recognition as a child, carrying it around the rooms, bringing it to the breakfast nook. What really caused them to disbelieve what they first believed was when Lou, the fiance of one of the nurses who owned the doll, he was sleeping on the couch at the apartment. And the doll was on the end of the couch. Lou wakes up with a start. He's sweaty, He's his heart's pumping. He's like, oh my God. And Donna says to Lou, what's the matter, what happened? He's had the worst nightmare in the world. And trying to strangle me to death, and he's sweaty. And they're like, oh Lou, calm down, take it easy. He takes the doll off the couch as a young man, macho, grabs the doll, picks it up and says, that's just a raggedy end doll and that can't hurt anybody. He throws it across the room. When he did that, however, seven psychic slashes appeared on his chest and on his stomach. Four on his chest, three on his stomach. Almost like somebody took a scalpel through his t-shirt, white t-shirt, like that and cause blood to come through. They're called psychic wounds. <clears throat> now the girls are freaking out. They're saying, that can't be a six-year-old girl or seven-year-old girl. That's something diabolical. That's when they called a Protestant pre Episcopal priest in Hartford. He said, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't deal with that stuff. Why don't you call Ed Warren? He knows all about it. He handles that stuff. And that's what they did. They called Ed and Lorraine, who came out and interviewed the girls they brought a Catholic priest in to exercise the house and do blessings over the girls. And after that was done, the girl said, well, we don't want that doll anymore. What are we going to do with it? He said, I'll take it back to my museum. And that's what he did. He took it back to the museum. Mm -hmm. Things have happened uh, to people who have challenged the doll. Let's just put it that way, okay? Mm -hmm. They've. <clears throat> the worst thing that you could do is challenge the unknown, challenge the demonic, because they don't have to come when you challenge it. In other words, if I said, if I said something to that doll to do something to me, it doesn't have to do it immediately. It can wait a month, two months, six months, a year, and then something bad happens to me. To but wait. I'm not going to attribute it to the, what I said a year ago to the doll. I say I got a bad car accident, or I got sick, or lost my job. You don't know. Why would you do that? Why would you challenge the unknown? That's all I got to say. Don't mm -hmm. challenge something you know nothing about.